Hello everybody, welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be learning about forward bases. Building forward bases makes exploring new biomes in Valheim much more pleasant. Let's get to it. Here we have a swamp forward base. I like to be able to smelt metal in the forward base, so ideally you have space for a forge and a smelter and that sort of thing. And I also like building them on the ocean just so that I can easily access them by a boat. That makes the exploration process more smooth. The requirements of each forward base will change depending on what you're trying to do. In this example, uh, this is a forward base for the swamp. There's a couple crypts there. Locate them on your map. And then you come back and get ready to go get the iron out of them. And then bring it here and forge it. And then you also have everything you need to upgrade and make the weapons here as well. It's just a safe place that you can launch your exploration voyages from. And that way if you die, you don't have to worry about being super far away or in the center of the world. You can just come in this base, you have food, you have everything you need. That way you won't have a horrible experience getting your body back without any weapons or anything. Here we have a much more typical forward base. There's a mountain right here, quite a sizable one too if you ask me. Look at that. And then a little shack here made out of core wood. The mountain's base is simple, just needs a place to repair gear, a place to store stuff, your bed, a fireplace, and most importantly of all, you need frost resistance potions. That way, when you die or you run out, you can easily explore the mountains without dying to the cold. And here's a much more extravagant forward base. Sometimes you'll start a forward base, and then with time as you play, it becomes a main base. It's really all about the location of the forward base. This is a forward base for the plains, and you can see here that there's easy access to this river with multiple boats in case I die, and then all of these plains here can be raided, all here, around here, and here. So this is a great spot to get a bunch of black metal, process it into black metal bars, and also build it into all of the gear. This is essentially a preparation area for the planes that results in you having a base and then being ready to go to the Mistlands. Here we have a great spot for a forward base to the Mistlands. You really don't want to mess around with building in the Mistlands until you've explored it and you're used to fighting the monsters there. So your forward base should really be in a safe nearby biome. And you can often find these edges, right? So ideally, you build a little bit far away, like you could build a base in that little clearing right there. And that way, you can go and counter the Mistlands and run to it, but you won't have to deal with the Mistlands monsters being inside your base and destroying everything, because they're quite destructive. Here's another forward base that's more extravagant, as you can see. The idea here is to build a really expansive dock and fill it with a bunch of boats, maybe have like seven or eight. And then, once the Ashlands come out, we'll be right here and have a great forward base. And then if we go explore, then we can die or whatever. And it's fine because we'll go back to the base and have another boat to go back the way we came. So uh, you can make forward bases for biomes that haven't been released yet. Just make sure that you keep the base a bit far away from the edge and don't go explore the biome. You want to load as little of it as possible. That way, when the update happens, you'll actually get the update. This forward base would also be a great spot for mislands hunting because you can see the spots right here, access to the ocean, mislands over there, mislands over there, mislands over there and you could just bring it all right back here. This also looks promising for some kind of base because you have a black forest and then plains right there and mistlands. And that's it for this video, everybody. I hope that this has helped you better formalize this concept in your head of using forward bases. Because when you plan and set up a forward base in Valheim, you have a much better experience than if you just rush in gung-ho and explore and die. Uh, it can be too easy sometimes to die and then get stuck and go find your body, and that's lame, you know, it's not fun. It's much more fun to prepare properly 
and then have a cool adventure, right? And that's it for this video. If you want to support my work, then consider checking out my tutorial all about purchasing your own dedicated Valheim server to play with your friends. It's a great way to play the game because your friends can play Valheim while you're off doing something else. You don't need to keep it running on your computer. At the end of the day, even if you're one person paying for four other people, it's as much as a World of Warcraft subscription and honestly, way healthier for you. Valheim is a beautiful game and having more of it in your life is probably a good thing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!